What I want to keep you understanding is that if you know Christ, and if you don't know Christ, this is not true for you, the most important thing you can do is place your faith in him. That's the most important thing you can do, is believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord, that he raised from the dead for your salvation, that you are a sinner in need of a Savior. It's the most important decision you make. And once you make that decision, God places his spirit to live inside of you, to indwell you. And his spirit in you wants to do the rest of the work. He's going to wash and cleanse you from unrighteousness. He's going to sand paper off the rough edges. He's going to bring healing where you need healing. He's going to bring hope where you need hope. He's going to bring peace where you need peace. He's going to bring encouragement where you need encouragement. He's going to bring correction where you need corrected. That's what he does. My biggest concern is there are some of us that we have now faith that we believe just down the cross, that he raised from the dead, and that we want to go to heaven, not hell. And so we prayed a prayer, we got baptized, or we go to church, or we do whatever it is. And I need you to understand that God is going to test your faith. And the reason he's going to test your faith is because it's, that's how you prove your faith. Do you persevere? It don't mean you won't fall on your face. It don't mean you won't have periods period of time where you've shut down because your flesh is your flesh. Right? There's a war that goes on between the Spirit of God and your flesh. Sometimes life is so overwhelming you just want to pull the coverage over your head and stay there for a while. Sometimes you get so angry you just want to respond out of your anger. But at the end of the day, if the Spirit of God indwells you, if He lives inside of you, He's never going to stop working in you, stirring you, drawing you, bringing out the unrighteousness, sandpaper in the rough edges. He's never going to stop. Because His job is to draw you closer to Jesus.